Welcome. Today we're going to learn the daisy chain stitch. As you can see, this stitch is absolutely wonderful. Look at all the colors and what you can do with them. So to begin with, you're going to need a supply of seed beads in your choice of colors. I've chosen three colors to work with today. And even though the bracelet is done in a size 10 dynamite seed bead, I'm going to use size six so that you can see the detail and how the stitch goes together. So to begin this stitch, you're going to want to go ahead and string a pattern of five seed beads, half of your clasp, and three seed beads onto your thread. I use a stop bead at the end of the thread. Just run your needle and thread through the bead a couple of times to hold it in place. This allows you to keep your beads on the string without them falling off the other end as you're working. So once you have this pattern on, then you'll just need to go ahead and run back through them again and make a complete circle. So just pass back through all the seed beads and the clasp, pull it around and form your circle. And then pass back through that first seed bead ignoring your stop bead, this is not part of your pattern. Go ahead and pull that around into a circle. Now you're going to begin your pattern, your flower pattern. So go ahead and pick up a center bead. I've chosen to use yellow today for the center of your flower. Pick up three of your flower colored beads. And as you can see, the thread is coming out between two of the seed beads. You want to go back to that first seed bead, pass your needle and thread through two of them. And as you pull that around, you're going to form a half circle. And you'll see that the yellow bead has ended up right in the center of that half circle. Now you're going to add three more seed beads on in your flower color and you're going to pass them through this one seed bead at the top that's closest to your yellow center. And as you pull that up, you'll see that it forms a daisy. Now you want to do the division between the flowers. So you're going to add a third color in, two of the flower color, and one of your third color. Now with these, you're going to go ahead and form a circle. So you will go opposite of where your thread is coming out, pass through those two seed beads. And as you pull this up, it's going to form just a little loop that lays there. Now you need to get to the other end of that loop. So just turn it over. Go ahead and pass your needle and thread up through two of those beads, one of the third color and one of the flower beads. Go ahead and pull it up. And now you can see that your thread is coming out between those two flowered beads. Now go ahead and add on one of your center beads, three of the flower beads, and you will pass through these two flower colored beads. And go ahead and pull that up. And then you're going to want to repeat that step from before. So you will add three more flower beads on, pass through this top seed bead. And as you pull that up, that will finish your flower stitch. Then you'll just continue on between the flower stitch and the leaf pattern. My name is Marlene. Thank you very much for joining me today in the Fire Mountain Gems and Beads studio. Please come back again.